Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a quick video on how to bleach your tank. Um, this video goes out to Pro Landscaper 228 He gave me a shout out, so I'll give him a shout out. Go check his channel out. And um, I'm going to show you guys how to bleach your tank. I think he wanted to see that. But uh, I took the tank off the Husqvarna here. Uh, it's three screws. Um, should be pretty much universal. Um, all, of course, all machines are different, so... Uh, um, mine had three screws to take the tank off, and they were a, uh, you know what, to get off because of the, you have to stick your hand under in there. And uh, once you get the tank off, you want to uh, pull your fuel, your grommet, and your two fuel lines out, and everything, and your fuel filter, which is disgusting. And uh, you want to pull your cap out. The reason why you want to pull your cap out is because in there there's a uh, plastic. Um, uh, what do I want to call it? Gasket, maybe? Um, I can't think of the name right now. But uh, it's in there, and the bleach will, uh, I don't know, melt it or degrade it or something. So you uh, take those off, and then you want to get yourself some of this uh, goo off. Uh, this is uh, professional strength. The other normal strength works just as good. So you want to do that and spray your tank a couple times. Wipe it off really good. Make sure there's no dirt on it and stuff. And uh, then you want to get a bucket like that and uh, fill up uh, some water in it. I don't know, probably about to there, maybe a little less, about there. And uh, then you want to fill the rest of it up with bleach until it covers your tank. Now my tank uh, would not stay down, so I sort of have to hold it down there for a little while. But uh, keep your tank down in there. Um, get yourself some of this, of course. Usually you have it in your laundry room. You want to be careful with this stuff. Uh, try to, If you're working with it, try to wear a white shirt. Something along that lines. Or, um, and watch what, make sure you don't get on your pants. Because if you get on your jeans, they're going to turn pink. And uh, you want to do that. Soak this in here as long as you'd like. If it's up to your standards go ahead and pull it out uh, I'm gonna leave mine in here for a little while um, and then you want to get all the crud off of it before you put it in here you soak it real good um, yep and then once you're done soaking it in this bleach mixture bleach water mixture you want, I guess you want to try to aim for a two to one ratio of bleach to water well, no, that's not right. Um, you want to have half bleach, half water. There you go. Um, so make a half bleach, half water mixture and soak it in there for a little while. And that should uh, take off uh, most of the brown fading coloring or the gas, gas varnish that uh, makes the bottle look brown. Um, so yeah, you want to do that. And then when you take it out, make sure you dry it off very good. Um, air, uh, air dry it. And uh, you can towel dry it too if you want to, but make sure you don't get a little piece of the towel in there. Or you could use a compressed air hose and dry it off really good. Um, don't get bleach on yourself. Um, then you want to put your grommet and your fuel tank, fuel cap back, well, yeah, you want to put that your grommet and your uh, fuel lines back on and put the tank back up and then put your uh, cap back on. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, that's what I did. It looks to be working pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to show you it, but uh, you're going to have to just trust me on this one. But uh, yeah, I hope that helped. Pro Landscaper 228. Um, I guess you can do it to your Red Max or whatever you want to bleach. So uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Everything helps. Thanks.